one's done IC runway testing for the, any F-35. So that's what we're here for right now. So we've never taken the F-35 on our truly slippery icy condition below uh, that of a wet runway. So we'd like to see how it handles and how it performs uh, on icy conditions and verify that it's truly a safe platform and a usable platform. It's not just any day of winter conditions that will give us the conditions we need to be able to test. We actually need somewhere between about minus 10 and 20 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we actually need it to be quite dry and we need the runway to be clear of ice before we get started. And that's so that we can go out and put down uniform layers of ice. Um, after making several passes of ice, we're able to measure those, uh, determine the friction of that ice section. And uh, in those good conditions where it's dry, there's no precipitation and uh, the temperature is cooperative with us, we're able to finally control what that surface actually looks like so we can get the data that we're looking for. Uh, as with any aircraft that we would test on an icy surface, um, or even just like your car on an icy surface, we're not entirely sure what we're gonna see. Uh, we expect it to be a little bit squirrely, but what we've learned so far about the F-35 is that it's a remarkably stable platform on ice and it's actually given us a lot of confidence both in how the aircraft handles and then the predictions that we had from our simulator before we started testing. The really neat thing about the uh, testing being accomplished here and their contributions to that is it's going to feed directly into our ability to operate the F-35 when it does become assigned here. So what they're doing is expanding the envelope in terms of IC runway conditions that the F-35 can operate on. So the more clearly the team understands uh, what the F-35 can and can't do, the better serve the future airmen here uh, will be able to operate that in those icy conditions. So they can look at it as a way they're paying it forward. So what they're doing right now will directly contribute to the combat capability of Allison Air Force Base in the future.